thanks for clicking on this video. So we are doing a, our first fall vlog on this channel and I'm starting off with burning this amazing candle called Leaves by Bath & Body Works. Check out all the sales this season. There's already been one. Buy one, get one candle for $14.95. So, or all the candles are $14.95, excuse me, so that's one of my favorite scents, along with Pumpkin Bonfire, Winter, those are just great fall, winter scents, so go check those out. So right now I'm just like kind of Blair Witch projecting this footage here, but just showing you a little bit of the living room right now, and before all the fall decorations come out, my husband and I decided we want to decorate today and it started to cool down in Colorado. I think we had like 65 degrees over the weekend, so I was very happy as it put us in the fall spirit. Obviously, you gotta have Harry Potter in the background and just showing you a few of the things that are out right now. So we have our five boxes up from the basement storage and now we're ready to decorate. We've got all kinds of things in here. Just tchotchkes, blankets. Yeah, it's a whole lot of clutter. Limited edition Halloween crocs. Okay, so we just got these from my husband. They're indoor sandals, indoor house shoes. And these are limited edition 2023 Halloween Crocs. They're right now only sold at Disney, um, but you can also find them on eBay, which is where he ordered them from. Okay, so this is our first box laid out. As you can see, I didn't even realize we had all this. We have four more boxes to go, but luckily it's like blankets and things like that, more pumpkins. So we've got some of these Home Sweet Haunted Home kitchen towels. This is from Home Goods. I love it. It's really absorbent too, so good quality. We've got, this is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, and it's right now 80 days into Halloween. We started at 90 last year, so I, we feel like a little bit better. And then we've got this like nice Halloween, what's it called? An apron? An apron, yes, kitchen apron. <laughs> this is really great if you guys don't want to decorate to get these like um, two tiered stands. And we have another one already out. And that's where you can like decorate with like little trinkets. Uh, quick intermission. Okay, someone's having fun. Little candles. Uh, I think we got these at Crate and Barrel and also Home Goods. So we got black and orange. It's a little like tea candles. That that really adds help. And then, ooh, we still have battery on these. These are the lights. I try to wrap them up so they wouldn't get too tangled, but these are really great pumpkin lights that will help, you know, decorate and just add lighting to things. And then we've got this, this is from Etsy. Pumpkin, apple, crisp, autumn time, love it. Just a little garden goals bowl with like a bunch of candy, but this is one of my favorite things ever. 
this little Ghostbuster section that we did last year. So excited to put that together. Um, then we've got some gnomes. Gnome candles are very cute. Then we've got just little tchotchkes. These are salt and pepper shakers. They make great decorations for these two tiered things. For example, great size. Salt, the ghost and that salt shakers. And then I got these at Target. So life happens, coffee helps. And this home sweet home, little autumn things. And then I got this little gnome pumpkin. This is great. You can put like cotton balls spilling out of it or candy, candle. Oh. This was our like candy holder, like in the middle of a dining table. This little mummy thing, we can put some candies in. So then we have this. This actually broke. So this year is gonna be the last year we, we have it. It's face broke off, but we're still gonna use it. Then I got some like hooks to put up. And then these are actually pumpkin candles, but I just thought they were cute. Decks for, for like a guest bedroom. So I got two of those. Okay, so this is one of my favorite decorations. It's from Home Goods. If you guys see it, go get it because it sells out so fast and like there's no more to be seen. I've been looking like every weekend, trust me. This is Home Goods and you can put like a little tea candle and light it. And then of course, these are my favorite coasters of all time. Nightmare Before Christmas, pack of eight of them. They're really high quality finish. And then this is my favorite table runner ever. We found this last year at Crate and Barrel. It's pretty long. I think it's like 80 inches. These little candles that come art our deco Etsy set we bought. So we'll put that later. And then also another like Thanksgiving-y table runner from Home Goods. Okay, so here, um, it's a couple days later, but we have all the, most of the Halloween stuff set up. So starting off in the living room, this is my coffee table. I've got these huge candle holders that I got a while ago and those are just always out. And then just these Amazon like fake candles for ambience that you turn on with this remote. It's awesome. Got my, it's actually like 78 days until Halloween now. Um, and then my night before Christmas coasters. These are amazing ceramic, it's super nice. Okay, and then going on to the mantle, we've got this little like Halloween town cutout. I only turn it on, but you have to push down on it. So I put some lighting through it. Lighting is the key, guys. So just get a lot of these like little fairy lights. We also have pumpkin lights that I'll show you later. And then this is a from Etsy. It's just like this beautiful handcrafted art board thing, uh, stencil, uh, whatever you want to call it. And then I've got these like four candles that are also part of that set right there and little ones right here. So it looks really good. And then I'll just do a little, and then actually, this is actually a wall plug-in, but I'm not ready to put that in to the wall. So I just liked it kind of as a decoration and hidden. This is from Disney World. I love it. It's just this like fall globe. Oh, with the like fall trees. And then we go here, I'm gonna turn this on real quick. Some pumpkin lights that I went through. This little bat with a tea candle in there. Um, another candle here. That I can light up as well. All right, so then I got this also, I think from Etsy or Amazon, pumpkins at full crisp autumn time. Just comes as a set. That's my allergy Lenovo Lavoit, so I can't take that down. And then here on this accent chair, I've got, you know, a pillow and this like rolled up Halloween 
uh, blanket. I use that for my dogs actually. Like there's one right here. I change this out roughly once a week, sometimes more if the dogs get like a bunch of junk on it. So that's their little designated area. And then from the kitchen, that's kind of like what it looks like. I think it's really cute. It's really simple. Um, we're gonna add one or two more elements and then we're done. We really did our massive Halloween haul last year. Okay, so now, um, excuse my coffee bar, it's really messy. Here's my espresso machine. All I did here was just put um, just a little like coffee stand together, very warm, and then these little espresso cups that are from Home Goods. They came in a pack of four. Okay, I'm gonna actually go to my front entrance now. Cause it's so cute. All right, so. Bad one. Like I said, these pumpkin lights, I think you can just get them anywhere. Michael's, I think I got these at Meyer in Michigan. So I bought like seven of them. They just take AA battery, they're amazing. So kind of like here's my front door. So right when you walk in, you're gonna have this little stool. I just like put this together, did not like have any inspo, but I had all these little like Michael's faux flowers. Uh, from last year, so I put it in this little like Farm little apple basket and then I had a ton of just pumpkins from multiple years of collecting pumpkins uh, These are from home goods Just thought it was cute with all the pumpkins and then if I get any more pumpkins, I'll probably like, put them here as well and Then you go to this entrance table. Oh I absolutely love it. It's got a little mummy to hold candy. What I did was actually just put cotton balls at the bottom to like kind of give it volume and then put the rest of the candy there. So cute. And then I've got the pumpkin lights streamed across. Just like twirled through these little tea candle uh, shot glass black candles. This is in a set of black and orange ones from Home Goods, and as you can see, they've melted for the last year. And then I've got this little bat and ghost. I love these, like cute little, like kind of like Ray Dunn looking things. I don't think they're Ray Dunn, but just love the bat and the ghost, um, like duo. Little pumpkin behind them, three tea candles, and then like pumpkin carving candle from Bath and Body. That was really cute on that two tiered stand. And then I put my um, puppy's collars in this little ghost mouth. Cute little piece. Here it is. It's not like, I don't have anything on the walls yet. It's, I recently moved in. Well, I moved in in April, which is recent to me, but uh, it seems like I've been here a while. Okay, so now we're gonna pan over. So like right when you enter to your left or to my right now. And then I just collected a ton of like Squishmallows last year for Halloween. So I'm gonna just kind of put them there and have them sit there uh, right when you walk in. And then there's these gnomes are from, they come as a duo uh, from Home Goods. Yeah, so we've got the Yeti, little octopus, and then a little Dracula. Cute. And then I'm pretty much not gonna do the guest bedrooms this year, maybe not, but here's my first guest bedroom. I just put this little pumpkin little reed rope, and that's really it for this room. And then I just put like a little fall pillow as well. And then I these were already here, but this kind of goes with the fall autumn theme. So that worked out. Okay, leaving the guest bathroom. And then the next thing I have is wall plugins from Bath and Body really add a little bit of decor and autumn vibes. So I got this, it's got a little autumn scent in there. And then I've got this little sign I got from Michaels actually. It just is, looks like here at like a little apple orchard or, you know, pumpkin patch. 
So panning the living room again with all the candles. Uh, right here I have nothing, but I'm going to be getting like a little light up garland that's like purple black. It's really cute. And then I might get a little Halloween tree. I've got some leftover summer flowers, but I'll be replacing that in a bit with some fall stuff. So this is my two tiered tray. I love it. I did the same exact design from last year. So you've got these two salt and pepper shaker pumpkins, a little like life happens coffee helps and then home sign those are both from target from the dollar section by the way really good and then i got these like ghostbuster little stands i think they're so cute that one's in like hot cocoa this is ghostbuster themed and then i got the little ghostbuster sign and him right there with a graham cracker so it's all like s'mores themed i think it's so cute Really good finds. And then I've got my little de decorative kitchen towels from last year. Bought these at Home Goods. It says Home Sweet Haunted Home. I love it. I've got my Halloween apron that I literally never wear, but it's cute to hang right here on the pantry door. So here we've got a little like witch's brew. I just put a ton of little like iced sparkly pumpkins in there and then just have a random michigan thing my husband is from there so just put it in there and then the two espresso pod uh espresso cups from home goods that came in that pack of four last part of the kitchen here so I'll light this up again we have the pumpkins again and this thing is my favorite piece the pumpkin spice latte. This is from Etsy. Just type this in. Uh, I think she still has her store up, but this is so amazing. Again, I put the little iced pumpkins in there. These three glasses are from Home Goods, but this is from Etsy. Well, which is in nothing in there, but you could put candy. And then garden goals. I got these little eyeball candies, not to be eaten or consumed. Yeah, it's just a cute little kitchen stand i love it okay now going to the dining table i did this whole like crate and barrel like table setting with like all the plates out but i just like didn't want to put plates out because uh, we do eat here sometimes so i have the first of all i have the night before christmas coasters that were also on the coffee table and then I had, um, this is from Crate and Barrel, this little jar. I don't know if this matches the table. This might just move over to the island. Um, I just put some reeds in there. Those are from, believe it or not, King Supers. It came in this really cute fall bouquet. You've got these little white pumpkins. This comes in a set of like 20 of the pumpkins, a sorted set on Amazon. Let me know if you guys want a link to any of this stuff. I can find it for you. And then this ghost table runner is one of my favorite pieces. This is from Crate and Barrel. And this table is also from Crate and Barrel. So here it is from the dining room. It's just cute. It's a little messy, but I like that it's simple. Okay, next up we've got the bar cart. Uh, these don't have batteries in it, but again, we have pumpkin lights all throughout. We taped it, and then we've got this little being eye. I think this is Home Goods or Etsy. This is Etsy. These are the Witcher potions. Little candles, like really like old timey candle. And then again, just some like tea candles that really helps with just decor. So that's that, and there's a couple more things left. And we're not fully done, but we're about like 90% decorated. And then I have this little fall bouquet next to, sorry, I have all my books everywhere because I haven't even read that, by the way. I just like collect books and stack them. Uh, does anyone else do that? So I've got this little, I've got also this like fall blanket underneath there, but it's a little like harvesty bouquet. I got at King Supers. I just put it in there. Don't know if that'll stay. The books are definitely not staying. Ooh, and then of course, there are my husband's house slippers. They're like Mickey Halloween themed. Really cute. And then we've got this little harvesty basket right in the 
right in front of my room here. So I love it. And that's really the last piece. We have a few trinkets here and there, um, but those are the main pieces of the house. So here's the mantle again. I love it. Really nice and subtle. And got your little island center piece. Yep. Is that so done? Thank you guys for watching and we will also be adding a few more elements so I'll get that in the video next time.